Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Deb. And welcome to... My Kitchen Drawers. Today. Really, Deb? What's that? Well, Dave, what if I could tell you that a simple morning smoothie could make all your troubles go straight down the drain? Well, Deb, I would tell you that I already know of a certain drink that makes all my worries go away. Tape, I don't think that's an appropriate drink for 7am in the morning. Or appropriate for our young viewers. <laughs> so, Deb, tell us how our viewers can make this magic smoothie. Well, Dave, I can do better than that. I'll show you. Let's head over to the kitchen. Oh, Deb, we're already in the kitchen. Shit. This magic smoothie doesn't have a name. Yes, Dave, it does. And can you believe I was stuck for months trying to name this smoothie? I can believe that. I really wanted a name that would captivate people's attention and really sum up the essence of the smoothie. So I went with banana smoothie. Right, shall we get started? Sounds good. First of all, you're going to need... Frozen banana. Strawberry, raspberry, the leaf of the spinach, cashew nut, honey, almond or milk. That's quite a lot of ingredients, Deb. Spinach in a smoothie, are you sure? How about you wait till you try it, Dave? <laughs> You're probably right. After all, as a male, I should then be in the kitchen. We're going to make this smoothie in five simple steps that will act as a guide to making the perfect smoothie. We're going to start off with the frozen banana today. Now it's important that you rub the skin of the banana before you use it. You are right Deb, as the friction itself warms the skin, making the peeling process much easier. Dave, can you demonstrate? Sure Deb. Bananas are a source of carbohydrate, which release serotonin, a feel-good neurotransmitter, and they're an excellent source of vitamin B6. Thanks, Wikipedia. Why don't you chuck it in, Dave? Certainly, Deb. Let me guess, Deb. Next up are the raspberries and the strawberries. That's right, Dave, because they are fruits. And step one is, add fruits. The amazing thing about berries is that they are rich in folate, which many people with depression symptoms lack. <laughs> Hearing you talk is making me depressed, Deb. Maybe I need a raspberry. Next up we have spinach. And the amazing thing about spinach is that it is really high in vitamin A, C, magnesium and iron. It is also really good for eye health. Now Dave, isn't that interesting? Perfect. Now choosing a base is one of the most important steps for making the perfect smoothie. That's right, especially for our young viewers out there who I know are all indeed about that base. Now I myself would go with a much more flavoursome choice as a base, such as vodka or whiskey. But apparently not everyone starts their day off with a hooker, a martini and no morals. So I'm going to use some almond milk today. Now there are some health facts about almond milk, Dave, why don't you tell us a bit about them? You are right Deb, almond milk contains about 50% of your recommended daily dose of vitamin E and contains antioxidant properties essential for your skin's health such as protecting your skin against sun damage. Now one cup of almond milk only contains 60 calories as opposed to whole milk which contains 146 calories and is great for weight management. What are you saying Dave? You're welcome Deb. Now be careful when you're pouring the almond milk into the blender as it could splash up and come all over you and that's just one sticky mess you don't want to have to deal with. Deb, let's pour it in. It's coming out. It's coming. It's kind of, it's, it came. We often think that in order to be healthy, we have to give up chocolate. But I know my viewers, 
And I know that giving up chocolate just shouldn't be an option. With a teaspoon of Kekoa, I'm telling you that you can be healthy, slim, and have your date with Chalky too. Right, moving on to the nuts. Now nuts are fats, which are rich in omegas, which help when you're feeling a little bit down. Dave, why don't you grab a handful of nuts and chuck them in the blender for us? Sure, Deb. I just love the feeling of nuts in my hand. How about you, Deb? No, Dave. I don't know what that's like. Well, how about you come over to my place later and you can put some of my nuts in your hand? Now, on to the final stage of making the perfect smoothie. We're going to add in what I like to call honey. And as you can see here, this is 100% pure Australian honey which is much better than the rest of the world's honey because theirs tastes like shit. Dave, I'm really excited about this smoothie. Are you? I sure am, Deb. Let's blend this baby up. If there's one tip I can give our viewers, it's to make sure the lid's on when you blend the smoothie. Now me and Deb, being the cool cats that we are, consider ourselves to be just a tad hipster. So we've got with some jars today to drink this delicious smoothie out. Oh, look at it come out, Deb. Oh, oh, some for you, Deb. Thanks, Deb. Cheers, Deb. Down the hatches. Mmm, mmm. That's actually quite nice, Deb. That tastes absolutely dreadful. Well, do you, Deb? Do you? Because you're the one that needs it. Where did you get this bloody recipe from anyway? Well, we hope you enjoyed that delicious recipe here on My Kitchen Drawers. <laughs> you know what, Deb? I think I might just stick with my usual from now on. But for you guys at home, make sure to hit like and subscribe just down below if you want to see more of us in the coming weeks. But until then, toodaloo, and we'll see you soon.